The only religion in the world that's consistently mocked and its followers ruthlessly attacked is Christianity. This is a fulfillment of many different Bible prophecies and we're seeing this increase in the days we're in right now. Matthew 24 and 9 through 10, then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another and will hate one another. Many organizations that document persecuted religions now say that Christianity is the most persecuted religion in the world. Here's a report from Cato Institute. Christianity is the world's most persecuted religion, confirms new report. That's from 2022. BBC reported the same thing in 2019. And this year, five months ago, Forbes reported Christians are the most persecuted religion on the planet. Some people who used to harshly mock Christianity like Joe Rogan are having their eyes open to this obvious fact. Christianity is the most mocked religion. Like we, we want to look at religions with uh, respect and dignity, whether it's Islam or Hinduism, we look at those with respect and dignity. And even if they have practices that we don't agree with, we sort of give them this leeway that it's a part of their religion. Yeah, Christianity. Christianity, Christianity is the, the most openly, easily mocked mm. of all religions. We're seeing the beliefs of Christianity being criminalized around the world. This is on the increase. We'll look at Russia, India, as well as in Western nations such as Europe, Christian beliefs are being persecuted and even criminalized at an alarming rate. John 16, 33, Jesus says, These things I've spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Let's take a look at this Christian preacher in Russia who's being criminalized and tracked down by the government there for his Christian beliefs. Security service agents are looking for me everywhere in the country. The moment I step foot back in Russia, I will be arrested. On August 8th, Russian FSB agents, the equivalent of America's FBI, raided Sipko's home in Moscow on charges accusing him of discrediting Russia's military and their operations in Ukraine. Documenting actions perpetrated by the Russian armed forces against religious communities, including enforced disappearance, arbitrary detention, torture or other ill-treatment, and unlawful deportations against clergy and members of Ukrainian, Greek, Catholic, and Christian evangelical communities. According to the Russian government, I've been charged with this crime because I said that to fight against Ukrainians is a crime. To kill Ukrainians is a crime. To destroy Ukrainian cities is a crime. The criminalization and people thrown into prison for their Christian beliefs is a fulfillment of Revelation 20 verse 4. Do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison that you may be tested, and you will have tribulation ten days. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. That reference to ten days could mean multiple different things, but we are seeing Christians criminalized and thrown in prison for their faith. There's other prophecies that say that as well. But first, let's look at what's going on in India and the criminalization of Christianity there. Mobs burning churches, more than a hundred killed, women raped and paraded in the streets. Some argue the Northeast Indian state is in a state of civil war with news of burnings and beheadings. Religious and ethnic clashes between the Hindu majority Meiti community and the tribal Christian Kuki minority over land and influence in the state has left at least 180 people dead and over 500 injured. 300 churches have been destroyed. And just imagine that if one, two, five, ten were destroyed. But we're talking about 300 churches destroyed. In Manipur's capital city, Hindu women creating roadblocks like this one to check cars for Christians. Several videos on social media showed mobs also burning down churches. Hebrews 13.3 confirms that people will be criminalized for their Christian faith and that the body of Christ worldwide should be praying for those people. Remember the prisoners as if chained with them, those who are mistreated, since you yourselves are in the body also. North Korea is another place where Christianity is heavily persecuted. This happened this year, May 28, 2023. North Korea toddler, parents jailed for life after being caught with Bible. In North Korea, when anybody is found to be a Christian, not only is that person or those people persecuted, but their entire family line is thrown into prison and concentration camps. So let's be in prayer for them and for all the Christians around the world who are being persecuted.
The criminalization of Christianity is on the rise in Western nations now. We're seeing this take place a lot in Europe. Let's take a look here at a few cases of that. A social media post quoting the Book of Romans, a testimony of leaving the gay lifestyle to follow Christ, silently praying outside an abortion clinic. Christians in Europe are facing potential prison time for these so-called offenses. In questioning the church's support, Pavi Razanin shared a verse from the Book of Romans about same-sex relationships and quickly found herself in a legal battle. Some citizen made a criminal complaint about this uh, Twitter update, and uh, then police started to investigate the case. And after it came into public, then there became more and more <laughs> criminal complaints about one radio program. Uh, and, and then there was an old pamphlet I had written already 2004 uh, about uh, marital and sexual issues. Matthew Gresh, an ex-LGBT activist, Never. faces potential prison time after sharing his testimony of leaving a gay lifestyle to follow Christ. UK Army veteran Adam Smith Connor. Last November, officers began questioning him for silently praying outside of a clinic for his own son who had been aborted. So they informed me that um, they considered that my praying for my deceased son was a breach of the PSPO, that it was an act of disapproval of, of abortion, although I wasn't manifesting that prayer in any way. And if, if I hadn't told them, they would have had no way of knowing what I was praying about. It was a, sil a silent prayer in, in my mind. The persecution and criminalizing Christianity and Christian beliefs around the world is on the increase. We're seeing many Bible prophecies that saying this will happen and that we're seeing these come to pass. The Bible is true. The only religion with proven prophecy, which is why it's attacked, which is why people use Jesus's name as a cuss word. And we can see in the last final days when the Antichrist will be in control of world systems in Revelation 24, it says, And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony about Jesus and because of the word of God. They had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or on their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. It comes as no surprise when we see the persecution and criminalization of Christianity rising in the world. But again, we don't know the full timeline when all this will take place. So it's important for us to stand up for rights as Christians to pray for believers around the world and do all we can to help them. When the final, final days happen, we know that we will get help from God. Matthew 24, 22, and unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. But we know that this life is not what we're truly living for. What we're living for is for eternity with God in heaven. The only way to get there is through Jesus Christ. And Jesus says that those who endure believe on him through all their days on earth will be saved matthew 24 13 but he who endures to the end shall be saved keep your hope in jesus your trust in him he's the way through salvation through help on this earth and salvation into eternity in peace with him in heaven i pray you all are well thanks for watching and god bless